So our make has completed successfully for building the emulator, uh, the generic ARM variation. Now notice um, when we go here out target product generic, we see our output um, and this is just the, uh, the files for the generic ARM uh, variant of Android. And so we can run that just by simply typing emulator. Now you can only do that if you're already set up, if you've done that build environment setup script and you just built something, then you can just run by typing emulator. And you see that it's going to start up here. It's giving you some information about the image size, about the file system. And then it opens up this what's called a skin. And this skin um, is going to uh, wrap around the emulator. And it gives you an interface so you can type and click on things and move things around. There's other skins that we can choose. And we'll look at that um, in another video. Also, we'll look at different screen resolutions, and a lot of really fancy stuff that we can do. So it's going to take us a minute to boot up. Uh, essentially, this is emulating having a phone on your computer. So it's going to be a little slow because I'm running this through a virtual machine, and it is a virtual machine inside of a virtual machine, which is really slow. Um, let's see, where was the files for that? Um, no, I'm going the wrong way. Let me see here. Let's go back to the base folder. Um, this is uh, this is run. Um, let's see here. This is... I just want to show you these files. It's going to take me a second. I don't use this a lot, so it's kind of have to remember where those files are at. But if we look at the the build folder and we look at the environment setup shell script. Well, once it opens. Let's see. Open this up a little bit. Looking for the emulator uh, here, we'll just search for it. So if we type emulator, there we go. Uh, line 174 there. Uh, if pre-built pre Android emulator system exists. So that's where the emulator is at, then pre-built Android emulator. Uh, so when you type emulator, it actually in theory could run for any thing that you just built, but uh, I'll be honest, usually only the ARM version work. So we go to the pre-built folder, we go to the Android emulator. We of course are running on Linux. If you're using Mac, you, Mac, you would use Darwin, Windows, Windows, obviously. So we open that Linux uh, folder and we see um, this readme here. And these are just the pre-built emulator binaries that were generated by running the following command on a 64-bit Linux machine. And it you know tells us all the commands there. So, of course, we're still waiting for that emulator to finish loading. It's going to take us a minute here. Uh, but definitely an interesting read if you're looking for something specific. Um, you can see that uh, this emulator setup has to be done before you can type the emulator command. If you just went to the Android Lollipop folder and type emulator, it wouldn't work. You'd have to run this build uh, environment setup shell script to be able to get the information that you need so you can run the emulator. And we're still waiting for that emulator. Should be just a just another minute here. Um, some of the things we're going to do with the emulator, we're going to look at uh, using ADB to talk to the emulator, the Android Debug Bridge. Um, we're going to um, look at changing the skin. We're going to look at changing the resolution. And we're going to look at installing um, programs, apps, stuff like that, which is pretty handy, especially 
excuse me, if you are working on something in Android that's phone um, generic, as in not phone specific. So let's say you want to add a new text text app, and you just want to um, see how it's going to look and that sort of thing. You can actually build it from your source code, put it into your build, load it up on the emulator, and look at how it's going to look before actually putting it out to a phone. Texting might be kind of a tough one to test in the emulator since obviously you don't have real cellular service, but uh, you get the idea that you could maybe try a game or an app. It's also really handy if you're um, particularly into changing the colors and things like that of an app. And we're going to look at how you do that in a future video. Things like changing the colors, changing the text, and you just want a quick way to load it up and see how it looks. So these are all great things that you can use the, uh, the emulator for. Let's see, open another terminal here, and let's, uh, let's run ADB devices. Oh, ADB is not installed on this machine. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's run sudo apt-get install ADB. Oh, and here's our emulator popping up here. Notice the uh, red bar, and that is because we're running an eng variation. Engineering uh, variant. So let's finish installing ADB. Let's see. Apt search. ADB. That's not installed. Right, let me install Aptitude real quick. That's just a tool I normally use when I'm working with packages. Pretty handy. Um, syntax is a little bit easier sometimes than apt-get and apt-cache and apt-this and apt-that. Uh, notice our emulator is still loading up here. Um, it's pretty slow, like I said, because I'm running it on a virtual machine through a virtual machine. So kind of two layers of virtualization there, but but it's coming up to the front here. Hopefully this works a lot faster for you. So here we go, yeah. So we see the time, we see the date. Um, excuse me. Uh, some cellular uh, symbols at the top, uh, battery indication, uh, time, all that kind of stuff. So it's just your typical Android Lollipop. So the emulator is going to work just like the real phone. Uh, obviously, you have to use your mouse for everything, and you do have these buttons on the side. And remember, this is for a generic ARM build. There we go. We can go to the settings. <coughs> Excuse me. Have a little bit of a uh, cold today. Apologize for all the coughing. So here we go, we can go to About Phone, and we see that it is Android version 5.1.1 and AOSP on ARM emulator. So if we, of course, we click on that Android version, we can get the hidden Easter egg pop up there for uh, Lollipop. There we go. Like I said, a little bit slow here because I'm using the uh, emulator inside of a virtual machine. So we're going to take a look at uh, ADB. We're going to take a look at uh, changing skins and all sorts of other good fun stuff that we can do here.